All right, next up, I want to talk about creating a sync moment. Yeah, create a sync moment. Here we see in one of these MP3 experiments, at one point, you hear in the MP3 experiment, you see the statue, I want you to point at it. And by pointing at the statue, all of a sudden everybody here who is actually listening to the MP3 knows and sees, okay, these are the other people who are participating. Now, this sync moment is key in order to organize a large group of people together to do something at the same time. And there's a couple different ways in which we can do that. Remember those good old feedback uh, cues, right? From Game Beyond, basic game design, and Masterclass series. Well, here we see those feedback sync cues happening again. We have a visual cue, right? For instance, everybody pointing at the statue, right? Or maybe it's some kind of balloons that are let off to go up into the air, right? So there could be a visual cue. There could be a sound cue. Maybe it's the strike of three with the clock. In fact, that could be a set time and a sound cue. When you hear the clock strike three in the plaza, right? It could also be a sound cue that maybe you hear someone start to sing. It could be a sound cue that maybe you hear someone start to clap. Um, you know, that's pretty much visual sounds, set time. Now, a local event. What I mean by local event is that something happens, some kind of action is taken in an area. For instance, with the very first flash mob I showed you with the ATM, that local event queue was somebody pulling cash out of the ATM. I've also seen flash mobs where people just pick up a piece of garbage and throw it in the trash can, unexpectedly triggering a giant flash mob. Right? So, local events set time, a sound or a visual cue, these are the ways in which you can create those sync moments for a large group of people. Next up, we want to build to a climax, okay? The idea of these happenings to really create these large emotional experiences is to slowly transport people out of this status quo in order to really create this out-of-world experience and really create this alternate reality. And so by building to a crescendo climax, we draw people along in this journey of changing the status quo as it were today. And there's a lot of different flash mobs that I can show you that do this. One of the great flash mobs I think uh, really that really shows us well is this next one where we see a single girl start to play a flute and it just starts to build and build and build and build and build and build and build upon each other. Yeah. So let's have a look at building a climax. <laughs> 